How's it going, Yushu? We have another Bloom Lord list, but Emily now uh, using the post ban list um, one. Yes, one week before an event. Yeah, yeah, very cool when they drop it one day before our event happens. But uh, yeah, how'd you do and how'd your run go? Um, start off with, we did like a month of testing before the ban list, which very confident with the list. Um, the list felt really good. Ban list hit. The next locals we went to, I bricked every single game. Um so we did a few adjustments to the list after that. It felt really good today. It's just a couple of games I did brick. Um most of my losses were to hunter players because I bricked and wasn't fast enough. Um, but apart from that it felt pretty good. Every every game you saw your pieces you won, every game you didn't see your pieces you lost. Pretty much, yeah. I had five consecutive games where I didn't see a blue mode at all. Um and I had a few games where I had to keep searching. I did have two games against, it was my round five, um, it was either against War Grey or Hunters, I can't remember which order it was, um, where I both turns, both games, hatched, slammed a men boost, no threes in hand, and couldn't find a three off top. And I lost that, that round because they two odd me because I didn't have a three, both games. That's crazy. Yeah, the ratios I'm on is uh, 14, 12, 9, 7, 3, I believe. Uh, no, 11 fours, 11 fours. 11 fours now. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, but the main guy, the nice promo Palmon, um, I got my last one today, which I'm very happy about. There are R2 in the mail, which Marty will be getting for his Thank list. You. Um, I because I really wanted the shiny Palmons. It's my little dude. It's the, the thing that got me into this deck. Um, so four Palmon searcher, it's basic searcher. Uh, four Palmon because it's the core of the deck, pretty much. You can't do many players with this if you got your your opponent's guys suspended and suspended. So it's a great way to get suspended. Um, this came up against the mirror a lot. I had quite a few games against the mirror. Both my games against the mirror. Um, I managed to Palmon. So floor top to get another poem on out to keep them under the um, effects whilst I was still managing to get uh, player guys out with the effects. So that was really useful having that alongside the sun floor. It slowed them down quite a bit. Uh, then mushroom, it's just a cheap cost um, to slam and it's really good if they get past two memory or you get past a lot of memory. You can still do players with bloom, get into bloom really fast. And then I played two pulse one as well because on this list, we took the call list and took out all the options apart from HPD and Membus. And I really miss the Santi and security because it can stop swing for games sometimes. Um, so this is a rookie that can do that. And then if I'm missing a rookie and it's checked in security, it adds to my hand as well. And it's not an option, so it effects that turn off options in security don't affect that. So it can, so it can still work. This did come up twice. Once it didn't affect much because the guy was already spending on the opponent's field. But on one of the games, it did stop a. It was the Gundramon, I think, um, from swinging because it just got suspended. Uh, so that was really good. For the four lineup, it's four Sunflower, four Red Veggie, one Weed, which I think that's like the standard across most lists. And then I found that, especially against BLs, because I deathmatch BLs quite a bit. Um, I struggled with that matchup because of the early pokes they got in. So we added two Yakimon. It did start at three, um, but then we took it down to two because I valued the one cost um, evos as well, just to pass to one or to get into my lines quicker. But the Yakis came in really useful against any matchups that can't pop it straight away before I blocked. It did stop a lot of early aggro as well. For the five lineup, it was three Agitar, three Cherry, one Blossom, one Argo and one Pissed One. Really quick, why are you on three Agitar? I see it every single game. I had four in my hand, I have had four in the deck for quite a while, um, because it's three months I've been playing Digimon yeah. now. Uh, three, four months since February. Um, and every single time I always saw an Agitar. Uh, I sometimes had games where I had players that's in hand, so cutting it from four to three didn't have that much of an effect, because I just always see it. It's one of the pieces that, without a doubt, I will see every single game, which is 
good, apart from that doesn't happen for any other piece. I like the three cherry because I like the defensive line. Against some matchups it does get pops or, or I guess hunters especially, put under a hydra or something like that. Um, but I do like it for things when it doesn't get popped, it is quite high DP as well, so BL struggles to pop it early game. Um, so it's really good for the redirect, just not against Greymon because the redirect then suspends their guy. Which I learnt the hard way when we were testing. <laughs> One blossom because my dude got hit. Uh, but then it's practically two of anyway, it's just Argos unsearchable. Then the Pissmon I put in because it was either four edge tall um, and no Pissmon or three edge tall, one Pissmon. It came in extremely useful against um, different matchups, especially against Greymon, where whilst testing, I didn't get up to this in the actual um, tournament, but in testing, I got a 25k bloom that swung over a Greymon at one point. In the tournament, I did get a 18 or 19k Hydra, which then couldn't be popped um, because they didn't have enough DP on the it's the each inheritable for hunters. They didn't have enough inheritables to be able to pop it, and um, because of this piss I had a couple of other guys out on board suspended, so again, a lot of power. Um, so that was really useful. If I think this could be a two of maybe. I don't know what you'd cut, but it felt really good as a one-off. I would like to try it as a two-off at some point. Maybe cut a cherry for it, just because it felt extremely useful, especially against Greymon. Uh, so, what well, quickly, uh, did the Blossom on hit matter, and do you think you'd have done the same if you had an unlimited number of Blossoms? Uh, I think I would have been better if there was an unlimited number of Blossoms. There was a lot of times where I was stuck for one memory which is the memory I'd spend for a cherry or a, a pissmon where if I had a blossom in my hand I would have been able to go into my bloom or hydra a lot easier I would have been able to cycle a lot more as well because I do find that this, after, especially after it's been hit bricks quite a lot for me I always brick on my fives or sixes or low end it's never in between um, I always either have my quartz and my hydras in my hand or only level threes um, so the blossom Quite a lot helps you get out of those situations because it's just free cycle and to get into your next level. It has hit the consistency of how fast you are and um, for developing the big board but I don't think it's killed the deck. It's still very playable and you still kind of do have a two off of it. It's just one's not searchable unless you search out green members. You have to accommodate for just more memory I think. Yeah. There was a time where I was debating over three men boost over four men boost. Um, and it was, there was a lot of change, that, like little tweaks that were made. The biggest change was two quarts, four men boost or three men boost, th uh, three quarts. And then some four ratios as well. Um, but at the end we did end up cutting a level four for, uh, so it's 11 fours, three quarts and four men boost. For the level 6s, it's 4 Bloom, 3 Hydra. <coughs> Might look a bit like they're dying. Uh, which is pretty standard across most lists, I think. There were a few lists that post tournament we were looking at where they were playing 3 Bloom, 2 Hydra, or 4 Bloom, 2 Hydra. Um, I just like the consistency, I like seeing my pieces. Um, I, do in this format value Bloom a lot more than Hydra. For the last Ultimate Cup I did have 4 Hydra 3 Bloom, but in this format you need to swing all the things, you need to be checking security because things just, especially red hybrids and stuff like that, aggro you down early so you can't be only going into Hydra, not checking security whilst they're poking you and only dealing with their board, you need the checks in as well, um, which was really good with the Bloom. Uh, I do have 3 Quartz in here. Um, it was on two quarts for a while, like I said earlier, but I wasn't consistently seeing the quarts when I needed it. The three quarts felt really good today. Um, I double quartz a machine player who didn't know what quartz was or what it did, and that was a very big knowledge check for them because you'd think that their worst matchup they'd know what it does. Um, but I managed to win two all because they didn't know what quartz did and they couldn't out it, and they passed me ten memory two games in a row. They wanted it less. They wanted it less. <laughs> they summed a machine for 12, passed me 10, and then was con like 
was confused of how I killed them in one turn when I went into courts because I had like six or seven bodies out. They had two analog man mans and a machine and was like, but how you burn? Read the, the machine card. plays a belt, that's fine. Read the card. <laughs> Read the card, it's and then bring out the spades. I'm just gonna. For the options, it's four men boost. Uh, I think it was three men boost for quite a while, whilst we were like messing with ratios. But the four men boost felt really good. I saw it when I needed to. There were quite a lot of games where I'd open a men boost after Mulligan and it was the only thing that I had to get into the threes. Most games, if I had to do that, I got into a three. There was just the two back to back that didn't end up happening. Um, but the men boost felt really good. There were quite a few games where I had double men boost because one or two were insecure and I played one, so that felt really good as well. Working with about five or six memory for a turn, it just lets you expand your board and put them, your opponent on very low security. One Mimi which I think is extremely good. I don't think you need two in this format just because Gallon isn't as prevalent. Um, because Bloom got hit, Gallon got collateral from that. Um, I think there was only two Gallon players on when we were looking at the list. Um, but the Mimi makes the Gallant matchup. It makes other matchups as well easy, a lot easier, but it makes the Gallant matchup because there's less Gallants, you don't need as many Mimis. The list used to be on two, but now it's cut down to one, so then it's just quartz turbo basically. Uh, it's all Digimon pretty much. HPD, the one of, you would never not play this in this deck. It wins your games. Uh, if you see it, it's a very big high roll. Uh, I've had quite a lot of games where I've seen HPD, Argo, Blossom and Piss One all in the same, like, same game. And I won those games because high roll one ofs that Argo plays a guy out, uh, free Digivolve, it's just very good. Bandai, banda one of already. <laughs> Please. Please. Just not keep making free Imperials. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the problem. Soup. And then the eggs, I... The eggs have changed vastly over the past three months. I started on three, two, no, two, two, one. It was like two Argo. Two gummy, <coughs> one of the power games. It was one Motimon. Yeah. I didn't have the Argos. Bro, I hate Motimon. I didn't have the Argos at the time. We were still waiting for them to get shipped out. So I was playing one Motimon, two Argo, two gummy. Then he went to four Argo, one gummy. Then he went to four um, Tokibara Balmon um, and one gummy. Then he went to four of the burger, one Argo. And now it's three burger, two Argo. This is extremely good for your like tempo turns where you're expanding and going into bloom. It's let me swing, swing over a lot of stuff in security. Uh, Omnimon it swings over a lot of the like big guys. Um, quite a lot of machines I've managed to get over. It has helped me along with Pissmon as well to get over a Greymon before. Then the Argo is just good for memory. I like this under a quartz because if it's on spending you gain in the memory. This is really good under a bloom, um, but it's just depending on what you see. I used to be on the power game Palmon um, as a two of instead of the Pissmon, not the Pissmon, the Pulsmon. Um, but with the Burger Tama, you didn't need it as much. The only match you really needed it for was Greymon, and this kind of solved everything else for you. So the Pissmon can help with this for the Greymon matchup anyway. Um, so it was pretty good. I was. I settled on this ratio because I like the memory, I like value the memory, but the power was also a massive increase of just sort of making sure the bloom didn't die. Is there any particular reason you go for like 3-2 rather than 4-1? Uh, I was seeing that there were some matchups where I wanted one or more of the other, and because bloom goes through so many things, it's so quick to build up, you go through a lot of your... Digimon quite fast, um, so if you keep building up, especially with Mimi promoting as well, um, you see more of them, so having a good mix of, depending on which match we're going to see, if it's a one of in the five and you really need that one at that time, you're less likely to have it. Um, so I liked this for my Bloom, that for my Quartz and my um, 
and my hydras just for the memory uh, but I tried to if I had like two eggs out I always put the blue one for the power game one and the um, hydro the quartz all on top of the argo if I only had one out it'd just be whichever one was out but I liked this ratio quite a lot. Alright. <coughs> Alright, so yeah. Uh, any last shout outs for just peeps? The whole test group because I deathmatched a lot in two different matchups. I knew nothing, of, I didn't play this game about three months ago. Um, and I don't have the best memory, so everyone's helped me learn what everything else does to play around things. Especially with this deck being hit, it's took a consistency dip and it's not beating things as consistently anymore. So knowing how to play around it, around different decks, has been really useful. Um, and Marcio's been helping me quite a lot, especially with BL's games. Uh, we deathmatched a lot of BL's until I, figured out, until I figured out the matchup and just figured out that I just develop on board, leave Ashtarin back and just see what happens. Um, and then just the whole test group for deathmatching me into different matches. I do wish I did more testing into Hunters. But we didn't have, we only had one Hunter's core at that time, and no one was really playing it. Yeah, the other Hunter's is me, and that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, so I went against three Hunter's. I've got it on my phone, actually. Uh, let me find it. I won round one against Hunter's, won round two against Machine. Uh, round three and four, I lost against Hunter's. Round five, I lost against the Blue Mirror. That's where I didn't see... The last Hunter's loss and the Bloom was the five games where I didn't see any Blooms. And then one against Greymon and then one against Red Hybrid as well. Um, but the loss against Hunter's was, it was like consistently hitting Hunter's. Um, and I do wish I had more practice on that. I thought I knew the matchup, but I just wasn't seeing my pieces and couldn't get into my Quartz quick enough. Or my Quartz was getting dealt with and I didn't have the clap back. Um, so definitely more testing on that, but I think it's a break for a couple of weeks from Bloom and just playing some meme decks. Green hybrid. <laughs> Green hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks, um.